Well, with all that, let's get over to Tori now. Yeah, she's live in West Sacramento getting answers on how first responders learned from last year's flooding. Hi, Tori. Yeah, that's right. Right now, though, the rain not falling down, but it was definitely coming down pretty hard earlier. You can see some cars that are still traveling on these bit wetter roads. Sac Metro Fire says the rain that we saw today is really just a taste of what may be coming this winter. The first rain of the fall already flooding roadways like Sunrise and Fair Oaks Boulevard. The first, first day and I know it's going to get worse. Some people like Manju Singh in Rockland. All the water comes in. Also dealing with flooding from the downpour. We shoveled all the debris from out there and put them on the side and the water just flowed in. Singh learned from last winter's record rainfall, adding metal fencing to try and stop the water from flowing from the nearby creek into her yard. But with El Nino threatening another potentially intense wet season. Be prepared in case it's time to leave or shelter in place. Captain Andrew Whaley with Sac Metro Fire says over the past three months, they've been training in swift water rescues, boating, and flood preparedness. Preparedness also starts with community. Cars not slowing down or driving through standing water proved problematic and even deadly last winter. We look to those areas such as Rio Lindas has uh, a history of flooding, the Rancho Marietta area. The DWR says it has opened up space in reservoirs and created more flood fighting tools to take on the water. And communities caught in the chaos last winter now have shored up levees. State water experts say it's too soon to know if another wet year is on the way or if we'll run dry. But every drop of rain, a warning for what's possible. I think it's going to get worse if it downpours again and again and again all throughout the winter. Yeah, pretty fitting that we did see some rain today as this week is actually California Flood Preparedness Week. The DWR does say it is crucial crucial for people to know if they live within a flood zone to have a plan and also have proper flood and home insurance. And both first responders from local and state agencies say that they are ready to respond whatever comes. All right, Tori, thank you.